Hey, it's Lori. I'm sitting here at Lowe's right now and we're going to run inside and I have a couple things I need to get here. I want to get some latches for a couple of my cabinets, the lower cabinets that the cat keeps getting into. I'm going to get some magnets to keep those closed and one other one that's a lower one that I'm going to get a magnet for. So I need three of them all together. I'm also going to get a runner, a rug, like a long rug for my hallway, my back hallway by my back door because it every so often I just replace those because they just get nasty you know people coming in and out and that is okay let me get really real with you right now okay that's the door we let Winston out when he goes potty well if we're not right there to let him out he leaves his tootsie rolls on the rug only they're not tootsie rolls I'm just saying that rug's been peed on too and I'm not gonna lie it's it's real life here, guys. It's been peed on <laughs> by a fur baby. By a fur baby, let me <laughs> let me clarify. <laughs> but I figured you probably knew that. So anyway, it's been it's been hosed down and scrubbed and just it's been washed and washed and washed. Not in the washing machine. It's not machine washable, but <laughs> I should try throwing it into the machine sometime and see. I don't know if I want that nasty thing in my washing machine though. I probably don't just scratch that idea. That's a bad idea. So the one I have right now isn't as long as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to get the one that it, I think it's on it like a big roll and you just tell them how long you want it to be. And it can be anywhere from six to seven feet, six and a half feet would be perfect, but I don't know if they do half, like if they'll do a half foot or not. So I have to decide if I want to get six feet or seven feet, if they won't do the half. If they will, I want a six and a half foot long one. So anyway, yeah, it's time to give my back hallway just a really good scrub down, a really good deep clean, a spring clean, you know, and that's not going to be in this video or anything. I mean, if I'm being honest, I'm not really fond of doing clean with me videos. I'm really not. I just like to do it and get it done and not worry about where I'm sitting my tripod and what kind of lighting I have and all that. I just need to do it and get it done. You know, I'm one of those. So I'll probably show it to you and then show it to you again after I'm done, like a before and after kind of thing. I can do that. That's not a problem. But anyway, that's still not going to be in this video. So why blabber on about it, right? So I'm going to go to Lowe's. I thought I'd take you in there with me and take a look at those rugs. And hopefully they have them that said they do have them here at this store when I looked online. So hopefully it's there and it should be um, three something a foot, I think, something like that. I don't remember for sure, 100%, but it's three something. It'll be around $30 if I get the seven foot one, I believe. I could be lying to you though, because if it was three something, it's closer to $4. It's probably, I don't know. I don't know how much it is, but we'll find out. Let's go in and see. Okay, I'm gonna grab the magnet thingies first. Here they are, just these simple little magnet latch jobbies. And I'm gonna get three of them. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, $1.98 a piece for these. Okay, I'm in aisle 40. It's supposed to be in bay 18 for the rug, so I see there's 12, 14, they're at the end. I see them. They have some of these, the eight foot ones, $29.98. I don't really want this kind though. I got these. I always like looking at the rugs. Okay, just looking at them. I really don't think they have the one that I want. I don't see it. It said it was in stock, but I do not see it. So, all right, I'll be back in a sec. So I came back to these pre-cut ones. And I was thinking about getting it, but there's a six foot and then there's the eight foot. And I really don't want gray. I probably would get the eight foot, but I don't want gray. So 
I don't see one exactly like the one I have right now, but I think that'll be all right. I'm gonna get somebody to help me with this and go with this one right here. Thank you. Someone will be with you shortly. While we're waiting on somebody to come and help me, we can take a look at these rugs because I'm thinking about getting another welcome mat while I'm here too. Possibly because I actually threw mine away at Christmas time and put, put my Christmas rug out and it's still out there. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Hello, goodbye. $12.98. That's not bad. Um, yeah. Oh, here's more. How much is that? $22.98? No. I thought maybe it would be cheap. <laughs> This one's twelve ninety eight. Oh, I like that. I might have to get this. Home sweet home. Welcome home. Oh, those are twenty bucks down the bottom. They're bigger. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get this one. I like it. I'm get rid of that Christmas one I have out there. Here's a bunch more. Oh, gather somewhere else. <laughs> okay, that top one says gather somewhere else. Oh, there's a plain one for $9.98. That's not bad. Man, they've got a lot of them. Lots of rugs and mats at, at Lowe's. Wipe your paws. There's one that says woof. <laughs> and then they have these, just these black ones. Doormats. Oh, here she, here she comes, hi. I just had three giggly girls helping me, but they got the job done and I think it's even cut straight. So, so that's good. <laughs> All right, so what did I get here? I got these three magnet latches. This nice welcome mat. I think it's pretty nice. Nice and heavy too. And then there's this, and I couldn't get a half length, half foot length, so it's seven feet long. But that'll work. That'll actually work really well. It is pretty windy out today. Oh my. So next I'm going to Walmart and I'm going to pick up a Walmart pickup order. And of course I'll show you what I get. We'll do a Walmart haul. Uh, what else? Do I, oh, I almost forgot while I'm in the area, I'm going to do a return at the UPS store and I'll tell you about that some other time. I'll tell yeah, I'll tell you about that at some point. I'm returning a gift that I bought previously. So I'll tell you about it after the the date of the thing. UPS store and then go to Walmart. I'm gonna to go to the UPS store first, then go over to Walmart and head straight home from there. That way it's like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and then once I get home, I'm gonna make taco pie for dinner tonight. We're doing taco pie. Then I'm gonna edit and chill and wait for John to get home and have coffee with him. Got my Walmart order and I'm ready to head. Oh, I got to take my glasses off. <laughs> I'm ready to head home and show you what I got. And while I was sitting here, I got my receipt. I heard it come through my email. So I went ahead and scanned that through our Fetch Rewards, had it check my email. And apparently I haven't done the, the thing where I have the Fetch Rewards check my email. I haven't done that in a little while, I guess, because it ends up finding like seven of them in there. So, <laughs> yeah, but that's cool. And uh, you know what? It's so it's cool just to get like all these points just from checking your email. Oops, everything fell, but that's okay. So yeah, fetch rewards. And I also have a receipt from Lowe's that I'm gonna scan and a receipt from UPS because I did stop there before I came to Walmart. And apparently I was supposed to package my item to be sent back. I didn't know that. I usually don't have to do that. I must have not looked at the directions. I don't know. 
apparently I did not <laughs> I did not read the email very closely because she said it's right, it says it right there underneath here the code the code that they scan I'm like oh well apparently I did, don't know how to read instructions so <laughs> and she says that's okay we can package it for you but there's a charge it'll be three dollars and fifteen cents so I spent the three dollars and fifteen cents so I don't have to mess around with it and end up forgetting about it and then not getting it sent back and then not getting a refund and you know so I just went ahead but yeah so I do have a receipt from that too that I'm gonna scan so okay I am heading home and I'll get back with you in a minute I'm home and this is my entire order sitting right here I'm looking around I'm like did I forget something did I sit something somewhere weird because I brought everything in myself there's actually three guys here, but I didn't ask for any help. I just brought it in and that was that. They didn't even know that I was doing it. <laughs> but they would have helped me for sure. I'm just saying, it was $89.65 for this. What? Seriously. Oh my gosh. So I'm looking around. I had to leave something sit somewhere. No, this is everything. This is it. <laughs> But it's pretty quiet in my house right now. And you know what it usually is. We're a household of six, but the guys are usually fairly quiet. Sometimes, you know, sometimes everybody's down here and get to talking and laughing and joking around. But, you know, that's nice. I like that. And, you know, a lot of times when I'm doing my food prep, I'll get to talking to somebody in the background and stuff like that. For the most part, it's usually pretty quiet in here. And sometimes I have to say, is so-and-so home? Is this person home? Oh, Okay. <laughs> Because, I mean, they just hang out in their rooms pretty much and quiet and mind their own beeswax. <laughs> Every once in a while, they come out and act like a family. <laughs> but, yeah, Hayden's in his room. He could possibly be taking a nap, but I doubt it. He's probably in there playing a game or doing something. I don't know. And Chase is upstairs. He was actually just going upstairs when I got home. So he's most likely going to take his after work nap. And Brendan's upstairs, and I don't know if he's napping or doing what, whatever he's doing. I don't know. He could be doing homework. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. But, yeah. So, let me just get on with this haul and show you what I got for all that 80-some whatever, however much I said it was. Okay, my goodness. We got some electrolyte water, the six-pack of the, how big are those? 33.8 ounce bottles. So, yeah, it's kind of like smart water, but it's just the electrolyte water, the great value kind. Four gallons of milk. One of the Coke Zeros, and they're still a dollar off, so if you like Coke Zero, Walmart has it a dollar off right now. At least around here they do. And over here we have Coffee Mate, so you know it's just about time to go to Costco when I'm buying Coffee Mate at Walmart. <laughs> and the Sweet and Creamy International Delight, that's Hayden's current favorite. My half and half two chocolate syrups because they didn't tell me when they opened the backup one you gotta tell me <laughs> mini chocolate chip cookies so i picked these up because all the ones that i got at costco are gone i know hayden's been kind of snacking on them here and there instead of just taking them to school he hasn't really been taking them to school much just kind of snacking on them after school here and there so that's fine whatever but they are for his lunches if he wants to snack a, a sweet treat in his lunch he'll have to make sure he has enough of these leftover after his snack is done so 96 count um great value donut shop k cups we got two loaves of bread we've been doing a lot of egg sandwiches lately so we're going through the bread and we're going through the eggs 18 pack of the cage free brown eggs and i got two of those and this is the market side brand so it's a walmart brand and i think they look pretty good and the price is very comparable to just regular old eggs so you know i figured i'd try them and see if they're any better i don't know I am really getting used to those farm fresh eggs though that my, my client gives me. I'm getting used to them, so I better not get too used to them. Cause you never know when they might just stop giving them to me. I mean, it's not like I take it for granted that they're gonna give them to me, but they have been pretty much every time I go there. And I was supposed to go there this Friday, but she actually canceled. Well, she rescheduled, but it's not for until like a week later. So I will definitely run out of eggs and I wanna make some more deviled eggs. I want to make some more deviled eggs, and I think we're out of boiled eggs, too, for the guys. So, well, I think the only guys that eat the regular boiled eggs is John and Brendan. So, I'm going to make some more of those in the Instant Pot, the 555 method. I'm not doing that right now, but 
<laughs> at some point in the next couple days or so I am and right now I'm gonna make some taco pie I got taco meat already cooked up in the freezer it's my last container of taco meat so probably be doing some of that prep some of that up at some point but I'll probably go to Costco and get the big thing of meat and yeah thinking out loud I'm starting to think out loud now so <laughs> okay guys I'll give you a quick peek at dinner then that's gonna be it thanks for watching see you in the next one Here's the taco pies before they go in the oven. I'll just show them to you real quick. They are layered with refried beans, ground beef, cheese, enchilada sauce, shells. And this one is low carb and it just has two thin layers of the refried beans on it. So, yeah, I wasn't gonna put any, but I'm like, I kinda want some. So I put two little thin layers on and it's mostly, it's kind of extra cheese. It's got more cheese on it than the other one, but we're gonna put those in the oven and I'll show them to you when they come out. Here it is all done. Let me grab a hot pad and pull that out. Okay, here it is done. I wanna leave it in here. I turned the oven off already, but I thought I'd keep it warm in here. This is the regular, this is the low carb. And to go with it, I made some rice aroni right here. I was actually going to go ahead and shut that off too. And over here we have some lettuce shredded up. I shredded up some lettuce, some sour cream, Frank's Red Hot, and the leftover or the rest of the enchilada sauce. This is what rice aroni I made, the Mexican style. I made two boxes of this.